baked chicken and mango curry. I've got about eight chicken chops in there with the bone actually in the chop. Grease a nice baking dish or a pan. Now for your mango, get your lovely fresh mango and cut the cheeks off. Now don't forget the sides, there's still plenty of good flesh on the sides. Now we are going to fillet the mango to take the skin off. Cut each cheek into three and with the edge of the knife just cut the skin off. There's a little bit of skin left on it doesn't matter it still works beautifully. Look at that. Now please use fresh mangoes do not use tin mangoes there is far too much sugar in them. Now chop your mangoes up into little cubes and repeat with the rest of the mango that's there. In a pan you're heating up two tablespoons of oil and you are going to fry one diced onion. Fry that off beautifully, that's just right. Now it's Andrea's curry magic is what you are using. For the flavour, nothing else will work. Four teaspoons, that's probably about half a packet. Now stir that well. Just frying off your spices. A cup of cream is what you need next. You will probably use the whole bottle. The mango that has just been cut into cubes. and about three ripe tomatoes diced. Stir that around. Now a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of chicken stock or bouillon as some people call it, and about half a teaspoon of pepper ground black pepper. Give that a good stir. Now you are going to pour that mixture over your chicken chops. Now your oven I hope is on. Spread that over your chicken chops. If you have a baking dish, the lid goes on now. I don't have a baking dish, so I'm just going to put a piece of foil on top. Now that goes into an oven for about half an hour. A nice hot oven for about half an hour. Now that's cooked for half an hour. Lid goes off. Now the chops are turned over. to give it a chance to brown on the other side. Now this goes back into the oven for an additional half an hour lid off so nothing on top. Now that's been cooking for about an hour. Please check your chicken. Some ovens might you might need to cook it a little bit longer. Make sure your chicken is cooked before you serve it. Into a little dish for serving. Two chops each with a little bit of gravy. The delicious mango and curry gravy. Now you can either serve this with rice or couscous. 
I'm serving it with good old basmati rice. Just garnish it with a little bit of toasted almonds and some coriander or cilantro. And of course, a good glass of red. Thank you.